Hi, today I'm going to show you how to be a power user of the text to path function in Silhouette Studio. Now in its simplest form, you just need a path, like a circle, and some text, like I have here. You want to double click on the text until you get the circular handle here, and then you just drag the text to the circle, and it wraps. The circle now becomes your means of positioning it on the path and you have this trolley here that moves the text above or below the baseline. Now I place the text on the outside of the circle. I can also place the text on the inside of the circle and then the trolley becomes the method to move the text to the bottom where it's right side up. While the text is on the path you can change the character spacing which you often want to do because the curvature will affect that. And if you click away and then reselect, you'll see it looks a little different than a regular selection because it doesn't have any handles on it, but it's still selected. And then you can change the size or the font or the color. We can also double click and insert the cursor and type more text. And one of the first tips I want to give you is that text on a path almost always looks better in all capital letters or in a mono height font. Some examples of that are Pharmacy and Cafe Rojo because they have a nice strong line on the top and on the bottom it just reflects your shape better. Okay, now sometimes even when you change the character spacing it doesn't look quite right. For instance our BA and B are okay but our Y is kind of stuck out here by itself. So here's my tip for that. I'm going to select this and duplicate it just by option drag. And then I'm going to make two chunks, one for the BAB and one for the Y. And because I can wrap multiple pieces of text onto one path, now I can adjust them separately. Might be a little obsessive, but that's just a trick if you're a perfectionist like I am and want to get that text current just perfectly. Okay, now where this really gets fun is with Dingbat fonts. And you have so many options for what you can do decoratively around that circle or your path of any kind. And I'm going to show you a new font that I created just for this purpose. And it's called Border Bits. And you can download it from my website. You'll want to unzip it click on the TTF and install it and then close and open Silhouette Studio. And when you do that you should find border bits in your scrolling list here and it's going to look like this because it won't have a name. And the capital A character is my scallop, my all-purpose scallop. I'll use it to show you what all we can do with this. Okay so just like any other text we can double click it, grab this handle, and go around our circle. If I type more capital A's, I can make sure I go all the way around the circle. And you'll see I have a gap there. We're going to fix that later. So if I use the trolley, we can move above and below and you can get a deeper or a shallower scallop. You'll be able to see this better if I turn everything to black. Okay, now I can have a, a shallow scallop or more like flower petals. Okay, I can also use this character spacing to change the look a little bit. Now I want to fix that gap. So I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to hold down the shift and option key which sizes the circle from the center. And you'll see my other petal comes out there and then I get it to where it is spaced just like the other ones and then I let go. So now then when this is all done I can select all that and weld it and now I've just got a regular cuttable shape. But I was able to determine the size and configuration of the scallops. Okay so maybe you want to have some hearts along a path. So I'll draw a path with the curve tool and then I'll type some hearts, which is the 
9, and I'll drag them to the line, and I'll want to space those out. Maybe I want them smaller. Then I can type some more. Again, I can play with the spacing. See how I like this. Move it above and below the line. See what the different effects are. And when you're done, you can either leave that line there because it will not print or cut as long as you have the cut line turned off. And as long as you do that, then your text, quote unquote, is fully editable. Let's say I wanted to add some stars in there or a circle. Okay, and in this configuration, whenever I move this line, the shape moves with it. If I want to unmarry those two, I can ungroup and then delete the line. But now none of this is editable. Okay, these are all individual pieces. So you don't want to do that until you're pretty sure you got it how you want it. I'll show you how the banner works make a curve for the corner and then I'll type my XYZ characters and drag them to the path. Now they're made to cling to the bottom so you don't have to use the trolley on them they're all set to do that. Now, if you want to change the size to a size that's not on this list, there's a trick for that, but it's a little bit scary. So, let me show it to you. Let's say 72 is too big, 48 is too small, we want to try 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in this space and I'm going to just delete. And then I'm going to hit return. And everything's going to disappear and it's going to be very scary. I'm going to take a deep breath double click again, type in my new size, 60 points, return, and now my banners are 60 point. Once I've done that one scary move, then now I can change it to 50 or 70, all I want, but I have to delete it the first time in order for this to work. Don't ask me why. I think it's a bug, but that's a trick you can use to make this make this work. It'll give you exactly the size you want. Okay, and again, you would move this around. Uh, you can type more. You can change the size individually. If you wanted one to be smaller, you can do that. Again, it's just like text, but it's symbols, so it gives you a lot more you can work with. So I hope you enjoy all the fun things you can do with Text to Path in Silhouette Studio and especially with the border bits Dingbat font. Thanks for watching.